This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time. Content presented in the following podcast is for information purposes only. Views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of the host and guest and may not represent the views and opinions of the Whole Care Network. Always consult with your physician for any medical advice and always consult with your attorney for any legal advice. And thank you for listening to the Whole Care Network. Welcome back, everyone, to From Guilt to Good, Self-Care Solutions for Busy Caregivers. I'm Jeanette Yates, and I've been sharing with you our amazing transformative care framework. This is part of how we do the teaching in the Empowered Self-Caregiver cohort that is launching this month, January 2024. And so we've been talking through the different aspects of the care framework. So we've talked about capacity, understanding your capacity for caregiving, advocacy, learning to advocate for yourself and what you need. Last week, we talked about resilience and the importance of it in your life to get rid of that guilt that is often accompanying us as we try to pursue our self-care journey. And then today we're talking about the most fun part of the care framework. Well, I think it's all fun, but uh, today we're talking about the E in the care framework, which is enjoyment. We've reached the final pillar. This piece is a pivotal part of achieving an empowered self-caregiver lifestyle. Enjoyment is so important because let's face it, you're not going to continue your self-care journey if you're not enjoying it. So um, think about all the times that you've tried to start a new self-care habit and you've done it for a little while and then you've you've kicked it to the curb. Why? Chances are is it's not sustainable. And one of the things that makes your self-care not sustainable is when you don't enjoy it. You don't understand the value in it and you don't believe you're worth it. So in the care framework as part of the self-caregiver cohort, we are talking about creating a sustainable self-care plan that you actually enjoy. So as caregivers, we know we often sideline our own needs and desires, giving priority to our loved ones first, our jobs, (laughs) other people, and this can eventually lead to burnout and guilt. And that's why we need to talk about happiness and enjoyment in the self-care process. Yes, it is possible for you to enjoy self-care, even amidst the whirlwind of caregiving responsibilities. I believe that self-care is something that can be intuitive and your body and your mind is going to continue to do something if it feels that enjoyment in it and also if it feels the value. So if your body understands why you are doing something, that is an aspect of enjoyment. That is what is going to help you keep that in your repertoire of self-care, in your toolkit. And so that's going to be what helps you sustain it. But how do we enjoy something that is typically seen as an extra burden? It's just another task. It's on that never ending to-do list, right? How are we going to be able to really step into the enjoyment of our self-care journey if we don't even practice it at all? The secret lies in our perception of self-care. True self-care isn't a chore, but a celebration of kindness toward oneself. You know, I recently, I don't typically do a word of the year. Um, I usually find it overwhelming and daunting, but this year a word kept coming to me as I was going about (laughs) the week in between Christmas and New Year, and that is gentle, gentleness. So true self-care should be gentle toward yourself. Now, sometimes that... (laughs) may still mean you're breaking a sweat or doing something that is slightly outside of your comfort zone. But in general, true self-care is gentle to your soul, to your spirit. It's about rediscovering the small joys in life, the instances that make you feel good, recharged, and fulfilled. 
not guilty. It's embracing activities that cater not only to your physical needs, but also your emotional and mental wellness. It's designing personalized strategies, flexible enough for your busy life, making you wake up each morning with that enthusiasm and enjoyment, that hope in each day. Because caregivers, we need that hope in each day. We need to know that we have control over our day, even if it's only in terms of our own self-care. There's so much outside of our control as caregivers, as people in general, whether you're a caregiver or not, right? There's so much outside of our control, but we can control how we tend to ourselves. And through the Empowered Self-Caregiver Cohort, I guide you through creating this personalized self-care toolkit to help you achieve enjoyable self-care. It's based on research, personal experience, and a wealth of shared wisdom. And in the cohort, we empower you to design your own sustainable self-care practice that you love and look forward to rather than dread. You get to decide what self-care is to you. Now, yes, you will have the guidance and training from me and other self-care experts um, inside the cohort, but you get to decide. It is within your control, your power, you are empowered to create your own self-care toolkit, your own self-care practice that's sustainable and enjoyable for you. Celebrate your journey to a balanced, empowered life where both you and those you care for thrive and experience enjoyment. You'll go through each day, even the most chaotic and unpredictable, feeling content and confident, knowing your well-being matters just as much as those you care for. So join me in the next episode where I'll delve deeper into some of the practical strategies, just give you a little taste that uh, we use throughout the Empowered Self-Caregiver Cohort. We'll talk about some of the strategies that you learn as part of the care framework and what you can expect as an Empowered Self-Caregiver Cohort member. If mentorship training, community support, and actionable steps, workable techniques is something that you're interested in. If you want to take control of your own self-care, consider joining the Empowered Self-Caregiver Cohort. It is created especially for you, my caregiver friend. Don't go through another year feeling hopeless and guilty and like you have no control. You do have control over you. I'm excited and ready to accompany you on this transformative journey. Let's make this change today. Let's make it together. Empower your life and redefine self-care and caregiving one step at a time. I want you to reclaim your time, your health, and your life. Head to the show notes to get your free self-care assessment and learn more about the Empowered Self-Caregiver Cohort. Let's do this together, my friends, in 2024. I'll see you soon. Let's do this. This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time.